and we are recording welcome to blood bowl 2 and you guys in the chat thanks very much for sticking with us we've just finished up our first game with an all skink plus croxagore build uh, we won three nil against undead so turns out pretty good build we're now going to go into our second game with the skinks and we are against oh we get 50k so let's have one of those there we go next um underworld now so goblin versus skink so we have the strength equality except for where the skaven are concerned and we also have the speed two squares so we're looking at a speed 80 team here and uh, goblins move six skaven moves seven it's a fast team they've got they, they have overall the strength advantage but i think if we can just make some good breaks some good dodges so in defense so we're receiving so we're going to go for our new patented spread defense there which is gives us the opportunity <laughs> the opportunity to pile on if we get a chance so we'll go there for him we'll go there for him and actually we're going to move up a bit like that and let's save setup defensive setup one oh, magical confirm here we go let's go for the kick and we'll stick it on the sweet spot until we roll a double for kick i actually think kick might be better oh we get a blitz this is fantastic and we've got the croxagore in reserve so this is why i think horns would be brilliant because we could just run him in there and take out the troll but i think we can run in there and take out the lineman uh, so let's go one one two three lineman blitz we can't get oh he's boneheaded already so tell you what let's let's take it for now let's take it for now and ball's going up there so let's just gun it up the field so they've got both their throwers out back but i'm pretty sure they've got no one to throw it to so i'm not feeling too terrible about that and let's just absolutely skink swarm them so we're going to give them a block we're going to give them a free block on that guy um uh, but i think i think that's fine and we're going to take the go for it there to see if we can't even out the strength a little bit yeah no we can't do that see we tried to cut a corner and we did not get it so let's reframe that start that could have just been a thrown rock could have been a throw rock could have been in a bad situation but actually we've got multiple skinks in the backfield dodge dodge defense uh and they we've got a one die blitz on um on that throw at the moment they get the power though on our poor skink and he's KO'd. Oh, so we're down one guy so far. And I think that's it for reserves as well because we're missing. Um, our armor down skink is missing this game, which is very sad. Okay. The troll is moving. Does the troll have tentacles yet? Push, push, push. Troll, do you have really stupid, mighty blow, loner, throw teammate, regeneration, always hungry, good. So he doesn't have tentacles, so that won't hurt our little dodgy guy. It means we have to roll the dice. Okay, that could hurt our opportunity at a two die block though. So let's do the maths. So he won up there to that square. Okay. Uh, what have we got that won't take dodges? Can I run through? I can't run through. So let's stand you up. Let's just stand you up. I'm real tempted to blitz here. But I think I'd rather move him. And he's having none of it. So we saw this last game where he just boneheaded repeatedly. But at the end of the game, he did come up with the goods in the form of two casualties. 
So we are going to put you there. And here we go. We have yet to use our reroll and we want to go for a two die blitz on this guy. We get the dodge. We get the pow. Here we go. Let's pop him there and follow up. Where's the ball? That is risky. I like it. Use the reroll. Three plus touchdown. Come on. <laughs> touchdown for the skink. There you go. Turn one defensive touchdown. <laughs> this team is fun. This team is fun. Uh, so defense. I love it. Happy with that. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Our knocked out guy came back as well, which is cool. Oh, sorry guys, was not paying attention. Let's go there. So, ball scatters, an extra square. Alright. It's not the worst for us, it's not the best. I did like the deep kick that we got last time, that was pretty good. Hmm. So what are we going to see? We're going to see the goblin pick up the ball. And then a reroll. Yeah, I was going to say, even dropping it there, it's pretty well defended. Oh, they got the power on this gink again. Can't be helped. Stunned. Stunned is fine. He'll be back. Um, are they going to leave us a hole? No, dodge, dodge again. There we go. The dodge shield worked. <laughs> and a blitz. That's going to be all the dice. Yes, dodge again. Brilliant. <clears throat> We're getting away with it with the skinks here. Okay, I'm not sure I would say they've left, left an opening. We do have a troll in the way. Now they have left an opening. Now they have really left an opening. Okay. So we can... Whoa, that is a lot of dodges, so we won't be doing that. What we can do is bring him... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This is... This is fine. This is a good plan. And then we need to get someone into that square. And it's going to be this guy. It's going to take two dodges. So... Alright, if it's going to take two dodges, Ben, let's just only make two dodges. And see if we can stunty our way through it. We can. So if he... If he moves in there... Actually, let's move him back. To take up that troll's tackle zone. Sacrificing himself. We should, if we get that result, pop him there and this skink needs to stay in place. Now what we can do is fail a bonehead blitz with this guy. One, two, three. Straight down the field. Three dice. Come on. We got the bonehead. Do we go both down or do we try the reroll? It's only turn two and we're down to two rerolls. We're going to take the reroll. We're in a good spot. I was hoping for a casualty. But not even that. Okay. We're putting pressure on the ball carrier, so I'm 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 reasonably happy with that. It sounds awfully like someone has joined the Discord voice chat. There we go. Ooh. There we go.
So this entire time, I have had the mic muted on Discord as well. Ah, it's all that bee's fault. So for those of you that weren't with us for the first video, Tiff was attacked by a giant bee downstairs. She's working from home. I'm off as well, quarantined. Um, oh, dead. Okay, he was no SPP, so that's fine. Worst case scenario, we will get a journeyman to replace him. Uh, so, Crocs is down. Blitzing with the Crocs seems like something I would very much like to do. Um, but how do we get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough. So we need to lean on the side of dodges here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a lot of rolls. So we've got away with it. So... I can now one die block the Skaven to free up the Croxagore. Is there a way for me to get extra dice on this guy? There isn't at all, is there? So let's have a look and see what else we can do in the meantime. Let's bring him around there and just put pressure on the ball carrier. I want to save the, this guy to pick up the ball. I need these in place at the moment. So he's going to dodge through there in a second. But for now, we're going to take the one die block and we're also going to take the reroll into both down <laughs> <clears throat> okay plan was clear him off blitz with the crocs go for glory that didn't quite work There we go. So, but what? Okay, it's not the end of the world. We still got a guy on the ball carrier, and because it's their goblin, the strength difference is zero. So, I'd like to say that we planned that. I guess we kind of did. We knew it was going to fail at some point, and we got away with it. What I'm not looking forward to now is the troll having a three die block on the skinks. That's three dice to try. Okay, that works out well. Works out less well, but they've used their reroll now. <laughs> and they get the power. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So that's the goblin with the ball. He is now on the left hand side, and he's got one, two, three, four more turns, which is more than enough time to score. Okay, we are one skink out. And we just had a load of skinks come free as well. Push there, push there. Hey Steve, more Blood Bowl is more good. Or more better. More Blood Bowl is more better. So I can get... We can get a one die block very easily there. So you're going to stand up and unfortunately little skink guy, you are going to die for the greater good can we go there and can we go there we can go there so we want to dodge into this square blitz into this square crocs one it's a long way for a crocs to go one two hey, he's not going to make it so it's going to be a two one die blitz can we get a guy there doesn't matter because of him. So it's one dice. Here we go. One, two, three. What else can we do first? He's really, really stupid at the moment. So let's bring him around. If they want to go wide that side, they can. But it's also allowed us a load of movement. Um, and we should probably bring this guy down here. Ready to pounce on a safety. Uh, you're going to go there and try and eat that Skaven. Uh, next turn, not now, because we need our Blitz. So do we risk it with this guy? One, two, three, four, one dice. Right, let's not risk the dodge. Let's just go for the one die block with a reroll. 
I think I said that before. Okay, we've got... He's got dodge, so it's not super. But let's see if we can't just pen him in. There we go. Um, he needs to stand up and get out of the way, I think. And then he can fall back to there. We've got a single dodge roll to make. And he can also fall back to there. Oh, no, that's our level up guy. Not bad, though. Oh, Mr. Warhanam is on Twitter, posting his unnecessarily good painting again. So, Steve, how are you? What's new? Really stupid. We get away with it on the troll. So, for unfortunately, they weren't trying to blitz with the troll because they are better than me. That is awesome, however. That is very good for us. So, that gives us a opportunity. An opportunity. He's going to go there, and we are going to... Two die block. We're going to take the push. Put him there. We're going to stay. And if we blitz now, it is one dice. Let's go for it. Greed all in. It's actually two dice. Fantastic. That's even better for us. We finally get the open star. We're going to stay put and we're going to see where the ball goes. Hey, we got a knockout. Brilliant. And the ball. Skip. If only we had a load of movement eight on our team. If only. Right. Uh, you should probably be there. You should probably be there. So that gives us strength five, six, seven. So that's tasty. You are going to go not quite to there, but there, in fact, with one dodge. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Who else we got? He's all right there. He's all right there. I think we do dodge away to try and skink again another day. He gets it as well. And then uh, ball is as reasonably protected. If we, right, so whichever one we do, this one's got the better chance of doing that, which is fantastic. So we will follow up. Stunned is good. We'll take stunned. So he's got seven movements. So we're going to go up here to there and fail to pick up the ball. We haven't used our reroll yet, so we can't. Oh god! <laughs> Failed the double dodge. Uh, yep, yeah. Snake Eyes the dodge, but I don't think they can get anyone on the ball. They can get someone on our guys, but I don't think they can get anyone on the ball just now. So, cup of tea time. Invisible tea. Look at that. Sorry, Mike. And then we are going to go... <laughs> working hard or hardly working, Steve. I imagine you're working very hard at the moment. Um, so, badly hurt is not terrible. The sound effect is. It's gut-wrenching. Dodge. Absolutely use dodge. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, we've got a guy on the ball so he's in a bad spot but if we get the touchdown it doesn't matter so let's just go for the blitz there should have put a skink over there for an extra die but yeah bam gets it and we'll follow up so the 
hopefully we stun him. Not quite a stun, but let's follow up to there. So it's turn six, so we can probably do with getting people on the ball. And I think it's worthwhile. That's a lot of dodges. These guys need to get on the ball as well. We're going to fail a dodge at some point, but I'd rather fail it later. Or I'd rather fail the dodge now while we will protect it on the ball. So he's two dodging now. He needs to dodge once to there. Okay, that's fine for now. Well, let's go for the ball. Is this going to be another touchdown? Not like that. You know what? I'm okay. Let's drop the ball. That's that's less okay. Uh, if there's a thrower there, so yeah, we'll go with the reroll. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it was worth the reroll. Oh, it would have been a touchdown. We can get the touchdown next turn. Unless they can pop the ball out with that Skaven there, and that's going to take dodge. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go for it. Yeah, you can do it. Let's see what these guys are doing down here. Excuse me. So this is looking good, going 2-0 into the half. Ah, oh, block down. So we're a skink dead, and that's it so far. Going to take a push on that side as well, which is good for us. It's all about whether they can blitz the bull carrier. We've got away with it. Gotta love the AI. Um, so they're going to take the push onto the sideline. He goes down. He's fine. Right. So, uh, do we... So, who's he? He's got no SPP. This guy's got no SPP. This guy's got some SPP. Crocs. I think... We go for the three-die Crocs block. Because we're in a well-defended spot. And Oh, let's just... Let's just take the push. Let's not be super greedy. We'll follow. Okay, so he can get me. So it's now touchdown time. I'll take it. Would have been quite tempting to wait till turn eight, but I like having the opportunity for defensive plays. So we're going to kick it to them with one turn. Um, let's put you in the middle. You're on the side. You're on the side. No, that's fine. Let's confirm. Let's go with that. And again, we'll go sweet spot kick because we don't have kick just yet. Excuse me. Okay, we've got pouring rain going forward. So minus one to pickups, uh, catches and interceptions. I can't imagine there's going to be a lot of interceptions, but this could benefit us. I mean, we're two nil up. We don't technically need to pick up the ball anymore. So we could adjust our strategy for the second half if that weather stays <clears throat> and just focus on adding tackle zones. Make them roll the hard six. Or or we get two defensive touchdowns and go 4-0. But it won't be with that guy. Oh, no. Hey Steve. Uh, yeah, no, not bad. I mean, I've been I've been poorly. It's not been it's not been horrific, which is great. I've been very lucky. Um, I'm not convinced what I've had. I'm not sure what I've had. The NHS seems to think I've had something that I shouldn't go outside with. <clears throat> and given though I work in retail, I think that's probably a very good idea. So I'm off. I had a couple of days where I was really low on energy, and it's a very strange way to describe it. But the best way to describe the way I felt was as if someone had turned up the gravity and just doing everything took a lot of effort. Had a bit of I had the sore throat, had the cough, had a bit of a temperature. But I think generally speaking, I was very very lucky and um, if I had the bug it's been a gentle version of it uh, can we get there can we get there with a go for it 
no. <laughs> no, we can't. That's fine. We didn't really need to do that anyway. I, it's, uh, I was going into the half. I got distracted. Thanks, Steve. Tiff's working from home now. She's downstairs because obviously I've quarantined her for two weeks. Uh, we're in attack now. This is interesting. Um, but uh, she started coughing today, yesterday. I think she'll be fine. I hope she'll be fine or I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Fortunately, as I've said hundreds of times, she is an incredibly forgiving woman. Right, if we do that, we can blitz with the crocs. You're going to go there because I like spreading out like that. You can be ah oh, running back. Let's move these guys up. Yeah, let's go with that. It's significantly off kilter, but hopefully we can get our third touchdown off this run. Two turns, brilliant coaching. We get a reroll. That's four. And the ball is in a good spot for us. So let's let's play a little bit better than we have been. Let's defend that ball there. So who do we want to murder with things? I think Crocs goes. That's a goblin. So the Crocs just going straight up and missiling the goblin. It's going to give him three dice. So let's go take the three die block on a goblin. Because you never know when you might roll a pow. Uh, follow up. And then because Crocs has mighty movement, we'll pen those guys in there. So I need to... Well, so if we get the ball there, we can probably build a side cage about here. But it will take a handoff. And we are catching, intercepting, and picking the ball up. So we need to play this very differently. And that is going to be the Skink Swarm. Here we go. Uh, I am absolutely loving the movement on these guys. He's going to pick up the ball. There's no two ways around it. So we're going to set up some kind of launch pad over here. All right. He's going up on his own. He's going to take a buddy. And the buddy's going to go there. And... I don't want to do anything too crazy. So they're going to stay. And we can see if we can't build a channel of skinks. Because we might be able to pick up the ball. You never know. It's a four plus. No, uh, we got a free reroll. Let's assume that the crowd wanted us to pick up the ball. And we'll wait. We will wait. It's Tom Brady. It. Let's throw. Let's throw it from the pocket. Although I really don't think he would be a skink. I would like to see a skink thrower, though. I think that would be a really interesting star player. Can you imagine that if they made a, an adjusted skink team with uh, with skinks that come with catch, like the halfling catches, and the skink with some kind of pass access? It would just be really great. In the meantime, we're just going to try and build that team. So we've got we've got a diving catch skink. Uh, who is he though? Where is our diving catch skink? That uh, that didn't help at all. Is it him? Is it him? Is it him? No. Did I imagine it? Oh, he's injured. I hope it wasn't him. <laughs> Badly hurt. No long-term effect. Uh, is it him? It's him. No, it's not him. It is him. What's wrong with him? Badly hurt. So we do have a diving catch, but he's he's not he's not the end of the bike. Okay. So what do we got? We still got our pocket. Croxagore smash. Bonehead, of course. Let's skip that. All right. So the bad thing about Underworld is they have got some movement to them. So let's get him around there. And we're going to try and refuse flank. We're going to switch sides 
to over here. Uh, you are going to dodge up here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Actually, there's no point dodging when you can just pin them in there. So, I didn't blitz with him. So, at the moment, I've got a 2 die blitz here. So, one. So, actually, let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Blitz him into this little pocket of skinks, and then we can chain push him away. Or we can just punch him in the face, which is awesome. Ah, oh, I was I was hoping for the skink casualty. So we need to skink cage here. And we can run quite a quite a long way. So ball carrier, how far can you go? So if we ball carrier there. And then it will go with the triple. Him there. It's an open cage. I'll give you that. But I feel like that will do for now. We've tagged up a lot of their players. They're going to have to make some good punches and some um, some good punches. And some dodges to get on our ball carrier. That was awfully loud, sorry guys. So he's blitzing that guy. All the pals. I so said the skink is stunned. Stunned is fine. I do like the classic blue red paint scheme for the uh, for the lizardman. I probably should have gone with that. I went with the green on the uh, green on the saurus and on the chameleon skinks and blue on the skinks. But the blue on the skinks is incredibly blue. I used a contrast paint, uh, and they are. It's a lovely color, but it is far, far, far too blue. Oh, they get the pow on the skink over there. But he's alright, which is good. So, we are left with a situation where we have no massively uh, bad moves, which is pretty good back there and I feel like we might have to go for it to get that one I'm not sure I didn't count should have counted hey great we got the pal he has to go there but that's fine so what we've got now is we've got a crocs tying up a lot of their players and you can go there and you can go no that's fine we'll build the side cage we'll go for the launch pad play these guys are like Slightly slower, but way more manoeuvrable gutter runners. It's almost fulfilling my dream of an all gutter runner team. Um, where's best for him? I think there. Let's go for a column. And we've got a guy here who will side elf column it as well. I'd rather have a guy in depth. Let's check for our players. We've got him. I like dodging. And so does he. So we get away with it. That'll do. End our turn. Sorry again, Mike. Let's zoom in and see what's going on. So this is going to be 3 0. I can't imagine this going so well online, but we might have to try it out in the league, you know. So you guys out there, if you are playing Blood Bowl 2, we do have a Blood Bowl 2 Bonehead Podcast Cup. So it's an open ladder, so come on, join in. At the moment, we're just playing on the evenings with the Wobble Lot, but uh, we kind of want to grow it. Ooh. Oh, they stunned the Croxagore. Uh, 
We're going to get a push on that guy. And probably a chain block as well, which is fine. And a push. And another push. The skinks are proving to be quite slippery, which I'm a huge fan of. So, two days, two games workshop announcement day. I'm really hoping... There you go. Justice dodge right there. Excuse me. It's only badly hurt. That's fine. There we go. That was some crunching. So, I think it is best, because we do not have any good blocks. He's just going to straight on run it in. So two games, six touchdowns, and we've still got four turns to play. So let's see if we can't get another defensive touchdown. Let's just go for the 4-0. Um, so we are going to have to adjust our line up here, I think, ever so slightly. We need to come up the middle. We'll just get these... Let's leave them there, actually. Let's move him there. Let's move him there. And let's move the crocs up. Crocs to there. And let's go for that. Let's see what we can do. Sweet spot again. Okay, so all of their team gets to move a square. So a bit of a redistribution, I think. It's just, that's a good kick for us. So yeah, they're going to be able to move their guys a little bit closer to the ball, but it's still a deep kick. And there's no such thing as a deep kick when you are movement 8, dodge, stunty. So the Crocs are goals, what, 140k, 150k? He does bring something very important to the team. I was kind of just thinking, is it better, would it be better to have two skinks instead of him and just skink swarm everything? But actually, the Crocs gives you a real good hammer approach. I wonder if a single Saurus would do the same thing. I mean, I ran this team with Slibly. No Crocs, just Slibly. The rain gives us, a, gives us a bit of an advantage here. So, can we get a Blitz in here? We can. Let's see if we can't punch a hole for our Skinks down here. Good dice. Um, do we want to go there? And we don't want to follow. Stay in place, please. Mr. Croxagore, good work. No SPPs for you. That would have been fantastic. So we can now... So... This guy can go there without using this square. This square. So we're going to jump him into there. You, what have you got in the way of dodges? A billion dodges. Not ideal. So let's move this guy up as well. And we'll see if we can't kind of flood up the pitch. That is, in fact, a lot of dodges. So we are going to disengage with this guy. And put him in the medium flank. We're going to disengage with this guy and just put him there. Uh, in fact, let's put him there. So if they go for the blitz, they'll draw him away from the ball. You're going to dodge up here and into that with a go for it. So it gets the dodge, which is brilliant. We just need to not fail the go for it now, which we do. And now we've got a five plus pickup, which is risky. And what we should probably be doing is just leaving the tackle zones on the ball to force them to take it but glory we've still got a reroll let's burn the reroll we've got three of them ah oh, that would have been great that would have been good that's not a bad bounce for us we still got two tackle zones on the ball and it is raining so we should be in a good spot here we're kind of aiming to go for the sweet 4-0 victory with the Skinks here. Uh, 
So where are, they? where are their throwers? Their throwers are here. So they get one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can get a thrower on the ball, but <laughs> I was about to say five plus with a reroll is not a great job. But actually, we've got two tackle zones on the ball plus the rain. So it's a six plus with a reroll. And those are not great odds at all. So they're just going to go the route of hurting my skinks. Oh, and he's a good skink as well. Well, nowhere safer than on the bench, I suppose. Okay, the goblin is away. And that's it. So this is very tempting for us. First of all, let's 3 die block the goblin, because if it goes wrong... She didn't, it's fine. Uh, we've still got two tackle zones on the ball, so let's follow up. I feel like uh, avoiding death with the skinks is a solid strategy. Um, he's clear, but he will have to do one dodge. So you've got to one dodge anyway. So you might as well go two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, he dies. He dies. We've still got two tackle zones on the ball. They can push one away, but the rain still gives us basically a free tackle zone, so we'll be okay. Let's stay optimistic with this one. Okay. I feel like they're just going to go and have a crack at our players up here. We've got two turns, and we've got the opportunity to score our fourth touchdown. Now, Starting a league with any team, the more opportunities you get to get a guy with a skill, you've got to go for it. All right. Now they've turned the tables on us here where there's now two of their guys on the ball. And we don't have sure hands. So, really stupid. Brilliant. This has not been a great game for the big guys. So, all goblins in. Don't know if that fourth touchdown is very likely at the moment. Um, takes the power. So we do have a goblin there. If they move this goblin away, I'd like to blix with the crocs. That almost helps us by freeing up the skink. So crocs on the goblin. Let's see if we can't. Bonehead. No, let's... Let's 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 pass. That's fine. So can we get anybody away from the ball or is it just gonna be a suicide run in? Two, three, four. Star. I'm not sure what happened there. Double dodge. Double dodge failure. That's fine. So what we'll do on the next turn, because it will be the last turn of the game, is if we still have that shot on the ball, we're just going to see if we can natural six it. Now they move the goblin away. See if we can natural six it and go for the fourth touchdown. <clears throat> So Games Workshop have stopped doing uh, deliveries at the moment because of the, the, the coronavirus. Uh, all, not all, but a lot of the second, uh, the third party, like the market, um, Goblin Gaming, Entoyment, places like that are now shut as well. So there's only a few shops left that are doing delivery. And one of them is Amazon. And there is actually some Games Workshop stuff on Amazon. There is actually some Blood Bowl stuff uh, as well. Now, because I like my Blood Bowl ideas, my crazy Blood Bowl ideas... This is interesting. This is very interesting. So they are trying to clear those tackle zones away. And they could go for the pickup. Onto the ball. Oh, that's... That's pretty good. It's still a 6, is that right? 3+, plus, 4+, plus, 5+, plus, 6+, plus for the rain. It's still a 6+. Plus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blitz. Watch him fail to go for it and go down now. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it. Called it. And he's going to fail loader as well. He has failed loader. That's it. That wraps up this game, basically. <laughs> They've got one turn and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No way to score. Like I was saying, I love crazy blood ball ideas, as you guys will know from watching the podcast or from listening to the podcast if you do. And Dungeon Bowl spells. I like the idea of having additional ways to build your team. Um, I actually really like the idea of choosing special play cards and sort of coming with a pre built list of special tactics that you pay a certain amount of gold for each of them. I think that adds a lot of. In the same way that like Age of Sigma and things have the stratagems, if Blood Bowl had special plays, which was, I can do an extra blitz, I play this card. The problem is that some of the special play cards are so destructive that it's not, it's not good at all. But I do like the idea of having elements you can add to your list and say, I am running the All Dwarf Lineman build, but I've got extra Death Rollers or something, just something different. Okay. So given that we failed the go for it twice, uh, failed the go for it and failed the loaner, I don't think there would have been any way for us to get that touchdown by going for that. But not bad. 3 0, and uh, we get a 2. We roll into a 4. So we've got loads of money in the bank. I level up, and let's go have a look at our level ups. Who did we get? Uh, so we've got two skinks. That Crocs is two SPP away, just needs one more casualty. So level up. Roll the dice. It's a nine. So we've got diving catch. Um, so what else do we need? Do we want uh, diving catch is going to be the one who gets the ball. Sidestep, sprint, sneaky get, jump up. Jump up is quite good. Diving tackle, leap. I don't think it's ever going to get used. So we'll go with sprint. Let's see if we can't get some fast skinks. And then this one. Come on, we're looking for a double or a stat. <laughs> it's rubbish. Um, catch is useful. Sprint is useful. So we'll go with sprint on this guy as well. Then we've got some really fast skinks. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. That will do it for skink game number two. Thanks ever so much for joining me on the stream. Thanks for everyone jumping into chat and having a good... Uh, a good natter about some Blood Bowl and some real life. That is probably going to be the last skink game I play on uh, AI for today. Uh, I'm going to have a break, going to go check up on Tiff, make sure she's alright, and then uh, make a cup of tea. And I'll probably be back in a bit with uh, one of the Minotaur teams. So, thanks very much for joining me.